Welcome everyone. Um, this topic I'm going to talk to about how to use um, how to use um, 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 HTTP um, URL connections uh, in order to um, connect to the internet and download some um, and download some materials um, um, or some resources on the um, internet. The next things is I'm gonna focus on more importantly I'm gonna focus on async task this async task is, is very important which is used in order to um, do a, a long running task in the background so um, I think it's, it's better to um, just uh, do an exercise about this one to demonstrate for it instead of talking too much about the theory then the job is let's say this way I already go to the internet and let's say go to Google you know, just so Google Okay, and um, you're going to search for a nice picture. Okay, and then images. Let's just, let's just, let's just make nice Android backgrounds. Okay, and then you'll see some backgrounds over here. Okay, you'll see some backgrounds. We're going to choose one of them. Um, let's just choose one of them. Uh, which one? Yeah, I want a uh, one with portrait. Many of, the, many of them are landscape now. Uh, yeah, let's just choose this one. Yeah, then you want to right-click on this one and let's say um, 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 open image in a new tab. Okay, open image in a new tab. This one is a tab for the image. Then you can have this link and, and we're going to um, open an Android application or make an Android application. Then going to download this file. Okay, we will download this part uh, and, and make it become um, our background of our application. Okay, this one is the main purpose is again to demonstrate about about a sync task and and um, how to connect to the internet. Okay, so uh, we're going to create a new um, Android Studio application. This one we're going to create, which is um um um, um, uh, um a sync task demo. Okay, let's sync task demo. Okay, next, next, next. What is this um, um, a sync task for? Again, um, a sync task is to do a task okay, asynchronously. And in case uh, from Android 3, from Android, from Android 3.0 or upper, okay, from Android 3.0 or upper, Okay, um, if you would like to do a long running task, let's say uh, connecting to the internet, you cannot run it inside UI3. You cannot run it inside UI3. Okay, you cannot run it inside UI3, but you have to um, um, for long running task, long running task. Okay, you cannot run it for long running task, you cannot run it in uh, UI3 anymore because it may make your. Um, 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 Android device to be um, not responsive or it's gonna be um, hanging. So in, in kind of um, 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 Android 3.0, people cannot run it on UI3. So for this long running task, you should run it on um, 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 a sync task. This one is a separate thread. And when you run a, an a sync task, we have some special point to notice. The first one is um, it's going to um, do something um, in the background. Okay, it's gonna do something in the background, and when you do an async task, you need to input several of the information under uh, um, 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 data type um, that uh, you may need to input. Okay, the type of the, the, the parameters that you may need to input to do, to do the task. Okay, data type of parameters that you may need to input in order to do the task. The second one is the um, data type um, of the um, 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 progress values so if, if, if you do the long running task and in at the center of the task you would like to um, issue some progresses okay um, so what is the type of the progress that you are issuing okay and the third one is um, when you do some um, when you do some long running tasks in the background what is the data type of the uh, return values if there is, if you do return some values, then what's the data type of that return values after running a long uh, running task, uh, a long task? Then, um, once um, um, another special point is 
for this kind of types data types if you don't have data types like no um, return data type you can use void so no return data type in case of voids okay no data return data types in case of voids so um, we're going to um, work on that application now so here is the application so i'm going to create an application and for this application i'll delete this one and um, as i explained before we're going to download we're going to download this picture okay and make it background of our application this, this this one is not a good practice because every time you run you download a picture online to make it become a background then it's not efficient however this one is only to demonstrate about how to use a sync task and also how to use um, http url um, in order to connect to the um, database so first thing first for this GUI, i'm going to um, change the uh, no, no, no. this one is i'm gonna change the um I, i'm gonna give an id okay for it so i'm gonna name this one is main layout okay this one is main layout because in order to um, change the um, background so i'm going to um, um, set that background to the um, um, our main layout here so i need to keep it a uh, name so i can access inside the code so so on create here we're going to um, load the um, 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 access to the um, 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 internet and um, do the download. Uh, this access to the internet, do the download and, and, and set the background. But this um, several series of tasks, okay, first thing first, they, you have to, be, it, it, it must be done in um, a sync task. Secondly, you know, it's a complicated task, so you should separate them into eight smaller tasks. The first one is, I'm going to demonstrate you, is to um, connect to the um, internet um, or using an URL. So I'm going to connect to this URL, then um, um, uh, get back their um, input stream from it okay so what i want to do right now is what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to do let's say private input stream okay um, 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 control space okay. input stream input stream okay input stream control space select so like, and this one is um um um, um uh, open connections uh, uh, to a, um, a string URL, so given a string, okay, given a string, given a string, then it's um, um, this, this this job is going to um, return us this job. The job of this method is going to return us an input stream to this image, so that you can read this image as an input stream. Okay, you can open a stream. Okay, let's say we're going to uh, just do um, copy. So this one is the picture. This is the picture. Okay then here so so given this input string this and this string given this string okay as an url uh, we give the that methods okay and that method is going to open an input stream okay open an input stream okay so that we can um, read data from this input stream to our application. Okay, so uh, that job is done this way. So we're going to um, declare, we're going to declare um, input stream as okay, equal to nulls, and later on we're going to return this as after of course, after of course, uh, really get that input stream. So in order to do the connection, we're going to open URL. Okay, it comes space for importing, uh, for importing uh, this one. Let's just make it URL string. Okay, um, URL equal to um, new URL. Right, can space. Make sure it's Java.net URL. So we used um, normal Java um, uh, classes in order to connect to the um, 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 internet. So we'll get URL specification over there. URL, URL string. Okay, and then um, this one we need to um, surround it with try catch. Okay. This one, I'm handle exception. Okay, we need to surround this one with try catch. Um, so we're gonna click on this one and surround with try catch. Okay. So um, in case there is an exception, we'll print exception and also return the um, 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 input stream as nonce here. Input stream as nonce here. Then um, this URL we are working with is HTTP. So if you wanna copy this one, 
your base somewhere here. Your base somewhere here. Right, this one is. Um, okay. So this one. So we're gonna paste this. So this one is actually an HTTP URL. So we're going to um, convert into HTTP connections um, in order to use some several of the features of HTTP, like uh, response codes and so on and so forth. So we're gonna change it into um, HTTP URL. Uh, we'll just check it first. Um, um, if okay, if your URL is um, no, um, instance of the HTTP URL connections. Then we're going to change it into HTTP uh, URL connection. This one we're going to um, add another catch clause. Okay, um, URL is instance of um, HTTP URL connection. Oh, oh, um, we need to get the connections first. Okay, URL connection. Okay, can equal to URL dot open connection to the uh, resource. Okay, uh, and this one we need to do another try catch. Okay, this one is at catch clauses, so it's gonna catch here. But but I don't want to get it too complicated with catching, so I'm going to just uh, catch all the exception at once here, just to make it easier. Okay, and then right now so, um, we open this one is an URL. Then we open a connection to the um, you know, URL already. Then we're gonna check if the connection is the um, instance of HTTP connection because the connection um, um, maybe the connection to several of the other kinds of URL. Let's say is maybe FTP you FTP something. Okay, so the it's it's an URL as well, but then it is not um, um, HTTP. So anyway. What we are using is HTTP. So we check if it is an HTTP or a connection. We're gonna convert it into. We're gonna cast it into uh, the um, um, HTTP URL connections to use the features of HTTP um, URL connection. Let's say response status and an input stream from it, like now HTTP URL connections. Okay, um, HTTP URL connection equal to HTTP URL connections from the con over there. Okay. Then now we're going to um, uh, declare an in res response equal to minus one. Okay, the response is, is minus one. And then um, um, we're going to um, um, connect. So con um, HTTP URL connection dot um, connect. Uh, then um, after connecting, let's say dot connect. Okay. After connecting, we'll uh, get a response equal to HTTP URL connection dot uh, get a response code. Okay, so for the rest HTTP response code, you 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 probably have known already. So this one is HTTP uh, response code. You will see that you will have several of the status code for this one. The most important one is two hundred. It's okay, and then uh, five hundred something. Yeah. 200 is the status is okay, and you successfully, uh, successful is 200 something. Like 200 is okay, and you successfully connected to the, um, 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 to the um, 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 resource online. Uh, some other status like 404 is not fine, not found. Okay, 500 something is server errors. Then this time we'll check whether the response code is okay or not. So if a response equal to if response equal to um, http um, url connections dot um, http okay that means it's 200 then it's okay and if it's okay then if it's okay then we're going to um, um, get the input so input stream input stream is no this is input stream is is equal to um, http url connection dot um, um, get input stream to 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 have the input stream to the um, to the um, 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 resource here, right here. Okay, so now you got the input stream to resource. Okay, and um, in next video we're going to um, um, convert this input stream into bitmap and set it to the set it into the uh, our background, and also make use of async task as well.